Now let's get another check on weather with Isaac Williams, who's keeping an eye on Hurricane Delta and the heat here in the valley. That's right, uh, Jeremiah. We're going to be looking at record temperatures moving in for the weekend. We've got full sunshine on the way, staying dry, major heat. And the overnight's going to be pretty muggy as well. So we're shaping up to be feeling a lot like summer uh, going into the next couple of days. We had uh, another hurricane make landfall earlier tonight in Delta, of course, making it the fifth hurricane to make landfall, the tenth named storm in the United States to make landfall, all breaking records, of course. And Delta, the latest one joining the crowd, Category 2 storm, uh, again, making landfall a little bit earlier on tonight. You can see how close... Uh, the pass of Laura back in late August, or it would cross with uh, Delta, which made landfall earlier on tonight. Again, the, the pass crossed a little bit offshore, uh, so the actual landfall wasn't exactly on top of one another. It was about uh, 15 to 20 miles east, Delta's landfall was, versus Laura. One way or another, this is very rare and very unfortunate for the uh, folks in uh, southern Louisiana. Thankfully, this storm is moving fairly quickly, and the worst of the rain is already north of Interstate 10 this evening. It's bringing widespread heavy rain to central and northern parts of Louisiana up toward I-20. All the uh, outlines in red here are flash flood warnings, and you can see that that area of rain will continue to spread up the Mississippi River during the day tomorrow. That's where the heaviest rain's going to be, though we do expect widespread or at least scattered showers and storms across the entire southeast as Delta continues to pull away from us. We're going to continue to watch unsettled weather across the southeastern states tomorrow. Spiral bands uh, tomorrow and on Sunday could produce some isolated tornadoes across the Carolinas even to round out the weekend. But here in the valley, we're going to be baking in the heat. We got a taste of it today. 94 the high in Harlingen, 96 earlier today in Westlaco. Rio Grande City got to 97. Brownsville, 95, a degree shy of the record for today. It's still 80 in Westlaco, 79 in Harlingen, 82 in Raymondville. So it's a mild, it's a muggy night, and we're going to continue to see uh, those conditions stick around. Winds? have died down for the most part, and I expect a calm overnight uh, as clouds continue to decrease. We'll have lows around 72. Tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 90s across the valley and low 100s for the upper valley. Sunny, hot, record temperatures, I think, will be broken tomorrow with that full sunshine. We're looking at Brownsville's record tomorrow to be 95. We could get as hot as 99 in some spots across the lower and middle valley. Upper Valley locations, again, toward Rio Grande City, maybe even McAllen, standing a chance to get up to 100 degrees. If you want to find some cooler air, you're going to have to head east to South Padre Island. 87 degrees the high tomorrow, surf temperature or water temperature 80 degrees. The high tide is just in a few hours, which is good news because we still have that coastal flood problem. It's just going to be for the overnight hours. Things will start to improve by daybreak tomorrow. High surf advisory also expires at 6 a.m. just before sunrise. So we're shaping up beautifully for a beach weekend around here, finally getting some improvement to the surf and the rip current situation out there. Next week, our only chance for showers at this point looks to be on Tuesday. At least we'll have highs dropping back into the upper 80s instead of near 100. Jeremy.